Ah, what a nice day it is to be Batman. Heads up! Oh! Oh, what'd you hit me with? Hello, we're Warner Brothers, and we're not gonna, and we're gonna destroy you. What do you mean? Oh, we don't mean destroy you physically. I mean destroy your whole property as Batman as a whole. Uh, what do you mean? Ah, don't talk unless uh, don't talk unless spoken to. Uh, uh, first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna assassinate you in one of the in one of the best video game franchises we've ever made. What do you mean? Oh, remember whenever you had your whole trilogy of Arkham games? We're gonna make a Suicide Squad game canon to that, and we're gonna make it make them kill you in the most deplorable way possible with you sitting in a bench. Uh, uh, why would you do that? I was already dead in the Arkham games. Oh, we know, just that we wanted to make that sweet, sweet moolah off the Rocksteady, off the Rocksteady franchise. Uh, why would you do that? Cause we want money, but the game's bad. We don't care if the game's good or bad. If it's marketable and it can make a lot of money, then that's the whole thing. Uh, but it's an online only game. That's the way of the future, buddy. And oh yeah, speaking of the Arkham games, the next game we're gonna make is a VR game. Uh, I mean, if it worked with PlayStation VR, now nah, we're doing it with MetaQuest. Wh why? Because if, because MetaQuest is the most popular VR right now, and we're about to kiss that, and we're about to kiss Mark Zuckerberg's feet because of that. We want that sweet, sweet Meta VR moolah. Uh, why would you make a VR game? My game is already concluded with Arkham Knight. We want that money and we want the name of Rocksteady to line up with this so we can get that money because people will say, oh, it's a Rocksteady game. Of course we'll buy it. <laughs> At least that's not the end of it. Oh, hell no, there's way more. Wait, what? Yeah, the next movie we're gonna make, uh, it's directed by the same dude who made the Flash, the Flash movie. Why would you make a horror movie director direct a, a, horror, a superhero movie? Hey, if it worked for last time, it worked. It can work right now. But he, ma but he sold your entire company, made you bankrupt when he tr made his first superhero movie. So, well, if we can do, we can do it again. Cat, catch lightning in a bottle again. Uh, why would, uh, why would you want to do that? And also, we're not making a Batman Beyond movie. Wait, why? Because we don't like Batman Beyond. The only Batman in our hearts is Bruce Wayne. There's more Batman than Bruce Wayne, but we hate, we just hate Terry McGinnis so much that whenever the people try to pitch the movie, we said to them in the first before they enter the room, there's no way we're going to make a Batman Beyond film. Uh, were the people talented? Oh, they were so talented. They made this duology, they made this superhero duology, which I don't know if you know it, it's a little well known. It's called the Spider-Verse duology. The animated one? Yes, the animated one. Uh, they're so talented. I can just imagine the potential of them actually making a good Batman Beyond movie that can make you actually millions of dollars and save your company with that animated movie. But it's animated, and we hate animated movies, and we hate Batman Beyond because it's not Bruce Wayne. Uh, uh, why do you hate me so much? Why? Because you're Batman. You are the most profitable superhero next to Spider-Man. And we're about to make millions of dollars by making bad financial and business decisions. And if it costs us millions of dollars, we'll just put the blame on you and not our horrible practices. So if you excuse us, good day, sir. We're about to destroy your intellectual property. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's what we thought.